you just I'm on the live. screen now. Okay, sorry. Hi, Welcome everyone to Adobe Live. That was my favorite start to Adobe Live I've ever seen. Just instant laughter at your own face. Yeah, because I can see my face yeah, right in front of my face. Mm -hmm. So, well. Don't get drawn in. <laughs> What's up, everyone? We are here on Behance with Adobe Live, and our newest guest, Emma Jong. Hi. Welcome. Yay. <laughs> As you can tell, it's going to be a fun hour and a half. I promise, even by the quality of the illustration behind us. Guaranteed. S guaranteed, 100%. <laughs> Adobe guarantee. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Let us know if you are watching us by saying hello, hello. Herb or Herb says hi. Beck, Heidi. Hello, hello, hello. So if you are just joining in with us, we are focusing on uh, illustration and illustration-like things this week, focusing on some really cool apps that Adobe uh, has built for you all. And so we started the day with Leonard, finished that with Lissy, went on to Chris, and we are closing out the day with Emma. Very cool. And we'll be doing this tomorrow and the next day as well. Within these streams, we like to do a couple little fun things. We'll be doing a chat and win in about 30 minutes where you will be able to possibly win a free notebook from Moo. What? You can get that one. Yes, we have a too. little stack, possibly. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what will happen? <laughs> uh, but these are really nice notebooks from Moo, which is an amazing um, company where you can get all of your business collateral made for you, business cards, tote bags, all kinds of good stuff. Make it simple to create beautiful, expertly crafted business materials with Moo. These notebooks are no exception, so stick around in 30 minutes for that giveaway. Ooh, that was very satisfying. Sorry if that was loud. <laughs> uh, and then we're also challenging you to create work alongside Emma. So the challenge today is to make an illustration based off of Leonard's work. You can check out more info and more inspiration from him over here in the challenge tab. Uh, it's very beautiful, graf graphically textural, I would say. Lots of cats and blue and pink happening. So work on those illustrations and then make sure you get them submitted by 2.30. So you have a little less than an hour to do that. Uh, you will get your work reviewed live on stream and shared with everyone. And you'll also be in the running for a free year of Creative Cloud. Which, that's a good gift. Mind blowing. I know, really? right? Like, real? oh my God. No excuse <laughs> not to submit. Even if you're just starting now, go for it. Send in your work. What's up, Esther? She says, hi, Kathleen and Emma. Hello, hello. Um, and so, Emma, I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. Who are you? What do you do? Yeah, who is this person? Why is she here? You know, <laughs> she looks boring. Okay, no, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. I'm Emma. So, actually, I'm not like a professional illustrator. Sorry if it's sad disappoint. Okay. <laughs> so actually, I work on the product side. I'm the brand uh, product brand designer. I work in, um, at Adobe for about two years and a half, almost. Awesome. Um, yeah, I work on all the salon icons on yeah. <laughs> in your system. So all the, um, you know, whenever there's a new release, our teams are actually working on the splash screens and mm -hmm. brand icons. So we are the ones that make Lightroom, Ronnie Corner. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not the one to make that decision, but yeah, it's like a corner. team decision. You can see it behind us. Part of, part of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I work on the uh, product brand team. Uh, we are a very small team. Actually, we're only three active designers on That's the amazing. team, including our boss. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. So, you said that you, you basically work on how visually Adobe products look. Yeah, like all those color icons. Yeah. Why Lightroom has this new color, why mm -hmm. Photoshop gets this blue. Yeah. Us. Yeah, someone yeah. is making that decision and for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's all based around good good science, <laughs> good creative yeah. intentions. We have E um, color matrix, so whenever there's a new product, we start to look at those rainbow colors mm -hmm. and pick one color for the product. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's super different. iconic. Like, at the end of the day, those colors are like seared into people's minds yeah. for that product and it sticks with them forever. Yeah. You'll be amazed at how many people will get pissed off if we change <laughs> Photoshop. And yeah. Red, how dare red. you? Yeah. I, I think I, yeah, I probably won't be alive the next day, but. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Someone's yeah. got to do it. 
and today we're going to do a brand illustration. It's mm -hmm. uh, something we introduced to our new brand system mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year. So we decided to bring in more color, um, fun um, illustrations mm -hmm. for our onboarding um, system. Uh, we have, I think everybody knows that we had this linear, great, um, um, informative like style of illustrations in yeah. the past. Super helpful. Um, but you know, we want to bring more excitement, you know, for our new users. Yeah. So in order to do that, we want to in integrate illustrations uh, for onboarding experience. That's how we start uh, this uh, system. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to work on today is a fictional project that is to design a banner illustration for adobefont.com. Mm -hmm. um, is my screen connected? Uh, we can show I'm, your screen. Oh, would right, you right. like to? It, it's okay. Well, I'll just talk about what we're going to work on today. Okay. Um, but uh, if you want to... We can look uh, at this? Yeah. Okay, we'll pop over to my screen. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, so this is an article that um, I wrote about the process of the illustrations. So you wrote as this? You, uh, I wrote this, but there are so many people who helped me. Okay. Um, team effort. <laughs> team effort. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, um, Andy helped me, Annie helped me a lot, mm -hmm. my boss Sonia helped me, Sean helped me. Oh my god, so many. Everybody. Okay, so, so this it's is gonna take an hour. So <laughs> so many people helped me with this article. Um, it's not just me. So so I, actually this is a collaboration with Kyle Webster. Kyle uh, Webster. Yeah. Everyone knows um, Kyle. <laughs> the brush. Yes. The god. The brush the god. Illustration. And this so. is what you were talking about where this is like the style that it used to be. Yeah. So this is this uh, is the linear illustration style that we've been using for um, a year or two. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't know. That's created by Marco. He's actually working in Germany. Um, cool. He's part of uh, Icon team. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is like the early iterations for the illustration style. We were thinking, you know, there are a lot of interesting illustrations that we use in the 90s. Yeah. How about we bring them back? Yeah. And I did um, some um, compositions and trying to, you know, um, see how it can work with our new um, icon system mm -hmm. and um, with uh, how it works with branding and that's Kyle's iterations mm -hmm. but uh, we think that's it's really interesting but it's not that far away from where it what, was, where it was. Mm -hmm. and there are a lot of really amazing illustrations out there they all use uh, you know figures and um, character and we're thinking if there is any way that we can make it really special that's Adobe owned mm -hmm. um, and then we starting to uh, look at other art forms and see if we can get inspired. Um, so uh, that that paragraph is just talking about we decide to not follow the trend. Yeah, um, <laughs> make our own trend. And yeah, I was not really inspired by the um, wall art um, totally. from um, the uh, ancient Egyptian. Mm -hmm. I can um, see that. Style. I think it's really fascinating the oh, side these, profile. These wiggly fingers. <laughs> I, I love it. Really funny. <laughs> Put a um, trademark on it. It's the W now. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we have these. You can't use it. I'm not kidding. You can you can use it. I'm it's, doing it's, it right it. now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's Kyle's um, iterations and try to you know see how we can combine the hands and mm -hmm. with textures. To bring it more, because um, we think vectors are too cold. If there is anything we can bring Agreed. some warmth mm -hmm. to the illustration, that would be great. Oh, nice. And also, I would um, talk a little bit about my background. I'm graphic design major. I'm doing branding at Adobe. My whole life is about graphic design. Both of my parents are graphic designers. You know, graphic design, graphic design. So <laughs> what I was thinking is like, that would be fantastic if we can combine the two together. How we can create a brand illustration system mm -hmm. that is using graphic design principles. Yes. So <laughs> I had this idea that we can actually curate different um, geometric forms 
and then combine them, use them as background mm -hmm. um, to create a, a sense of motion or create a depth. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those I will be using those uh, shapes uh, nice. later to create illustrations. And also another part of our system is the colors. So all the illustration style actually will follow the brand color that the illustrations uh, made for. Mm -hmm. um, so if you go to CC on online, you will see all the illustrations are actually red tone, yeah. and uh, all the illustration made for um, XD it will be all pink tone. Mm -hmm. um, those kind of thing. So yeah, these are just like more iterations and how many lines we should include and how many shapes. So much thought is put yeah. into these things, <laughs> and then the user sees it and they're like, oh, intuitive, nice, and then. It does its job. Yeah, I think the most challenging part is illustration is so intuitive. It's really hard to create a system out of it. Um, I had a lot of struggle and I cried a lot. I told Kathleen. We earlier, talked I was about like, this. I can't look at my laptop. I need to, I need to. <laughs> well, yeah, I, w I had those dramatic uh, time because it's it's really. At the beginning, when you had this brilliant idea of like, oh, I'm going to combine everything, it's going to be great, and mm -hmm. it's going to be fantastic. And then when you're actually trying to do it, it's a different thing. And um, so yeah, uh, that is the new illustrations that actually oh, you can see it in Acrobat now uh, cool. when you open it. That's um, the onboarding for different uh, subscribers. Wow, cool. Yeah. So we have like a W Sign user. It's a little bit mm -hmm. different from a free user. Mm -hmm. Cool. Even the copy is different. Yeah. So that is already out there. And um, the following is the um, CC mobile app. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like the illustration will use the color th theme based mm -hmm. on the product. Mm -hmm. So CC is the red icon. So we use the red. Yeah, but you also pull in some like analogous, but not two similar colors, like you bring in a kind of a warm gray, kind of yeah. a salmon-y pink. Yeah, we need to balance the red. While <laughs> red is really exciting, but too much red will be too much. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I gotta balance a little bit. And this is for Adobe I.O. Um, when um, you, you know, like where you can actually start to build plugins for XD. Ah, okay. So that's why it's pink. Um, Makes sense. That's when Ooh. we nice. um, very Illustrator. <laughs> yeah. Totally. This is uh, the ones for Illustrator. I'm actually, I'm not sure where you can find it. I don't, I don't even know. Well, it's based on your subscription. Yep. Um, yeah, but that's uh, for uh, the first mile project. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Onboarding. Cool. Yeah. Man, is everyone following? Do you understand like how integrated this is going to be into your future Adobe life? You're gonna see this. It's live. <laughs> so cool. Uh, Wakor says, I'm just amazed that they made it look so effortless at the finished version after all that work. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, that's what we, I think we got that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, that's so people cool. always just see one thing in the end, mm -hmm. but the whole process was crazy. Yeah. Me nuts. Really. <laughs> you survived. Uh, yeah, I survived. Stronger woman for it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> later on I will show um, e, uh AI file that like you can see, you know, like all the process and different yeah. color combinations. Mm -hmm. It's not just one illustration, but there are like a lot of options that yeah. actually was created before we pick the perfect one. Awesome. So. Cool. Yeah, Jan Eric says the illustrations are formal or approachable and professional, yet warm and friendly. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. <laughs> Thanks, Jan Eric. In chat, uh, let us know if you are watching for the first time, if you are in it to win it here with Emma and I, going to learn a lot about these processes and all the goodness that you're about to do. I'm curious. As a fellow Adobe person, I'm like, ooh, show me more. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. Can't wait to share. Yay, okay, let's dive in. Okay, so is um we will show your screen. Yeah, we'll show my yeah. screen. <laughs> so what actually this is what we're going to do today, but what I'm what I'll show you is like how we're gonna do this. Okay. So I have this library. She's still growing, she's mm -hmm. very small now. 
um, because manageable. we <laughs> manageable. Is so far we only did this few products mm -hmm. for the illustration. So we are still actually expanding our icon language. This is a library that I can easily pull some, you know, elements um, mm -hmm. from and. I think we were gonna use, you know, face and hands today. Um, yeah, this is uh, the library, and um, here is the work file, uh, production file I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Sorry, zoom out, zoom out more. Okay, yeah, this is like behind the scene. So uh, this is the illustrations for um, Spectrum. I'm not sure if you guys know, but it's Spectrum is it's like the material design for Adobe. Mm. So we have this UI UX uh, standard for all our product. And um, on Spectrum team, they, uh, they kind of set the standards for UI, so we collaborate with them a lot to kind of promote this type of illustration style. And yeah, so here you can see um, different texture combinations with mm. all textures or like maybe some, you know, flat colors with textures yeah. and different color combinations. Before we apply textures there, we try different uh, colors and see which one works and see um, which composition that works better. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so this is the illustrations for Spectrum and we have different layout. This is for mobile, so it's more square-ish and this is like the web version, so yeah, it's more... Like a banner. Yeah, like a banner, but they're all like the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, and here, you know, you can see like on dark UI, it will be like this and yeah. on lighter UI will be like gotcha. this one. <laughs> so lines will usually be like whiter yeah. and then the lines will be darker on the light UI. Mm. Cool. Yeah, so the systems actually have all the lines that in dark color and um, the color shapes will use medium colors or light colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, it reads so well on both sides. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do today is actually create a banner for Adobe Fonts. Yay! And that used to be Typekit, so if you don't know what Adobe Fonts is. Yeah. That's what it is now. Mm -hmm. So I um, this is I really love this banner. Uh, but, it's cute. Uh, I but I think this is like really uh, interesting because we can you know like because I really like the uh, their marketing messages and yeah. I feel like you know there's so many things that we can illustrate from there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I did a little bit work before. This. Love to hear that. <laughs> yeah, like, sketches. Sketches. So I was like thinking, you know, like what kind of compositions that we can um, actually use to express that idea of like, you know, all those fonts that you own them and you can use them, you can select them uh, based on your design. Right. And um, as you can see, composition one, I was thinking, oh, maybe it's just a hand and different font shapes. Right. Um, and two is like, you know, like this person is hugging all the fonts. Mm -hmm. And and this three is like, this guy is like looking and already have something picked. Yeah. And look around. Kind of comparing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and something like, you know, maybe bringing some dimension, but I don't really like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then number five is just like explore the depth of the field. Uh -huh. um, number six is, you know, like really it's two dimensional. Yeah. Um, yeah, like those things. So what I'm going to do today is actually try them all. Oh. Besides number four, because I feel like that's really not our system. Mm -hmm. So, and like we can, you know, like, you guys can tell me if you like any compositions that mm -hmm. we can, you know, try them first. Yeah. And uh, and also I found some interesting color scheme. Since Adobe font doesn't really have a brand color at this point, yeah. they're using um, Adobe logo. So I feel like it's great because we have a lot of freedom in terms of color schemes. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try all these colors and see which one works the uh, best. Nice. And yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna do this. Awesome, cool. cool. So we have about five minutes before we're gonna do our chat and win. So before we jump in, maybe chat, you can let us know which one speaks to you 
first. Maybe it's number one. Maybe you'll just keep it easy. <laughs> but you, we have them open right now. Uh, Nato says one, three, and eight are really lovely. Oh, nice. Let's mm -hmm. see. One, three. One, three, and what's that? Eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you give me three. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, okay, Santiago says I like six. six. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I prefer the ones where it shows like the. F um, not just the arms interacting, but the actual figure. I, yeah. I think I like three the most. That's yeah. personally my favorite. Wakar also okay. likes three. Okay, we got likes more three. three. Oh. Team three. Yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. 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 Three, eight. Three, now we see three, repeat eight. numbers. One. Okay. <laughs> this cool. is <laughs> not so you're just... like not so it's like one, three, eight again. One, three, eight. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's do. So far, we got most vote for three. So let's try three first. Team three, where it's cool. at. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do is to just pull this, you know, because we have a face there mm -hmm. and we need hands over there. Um, I'll just select the two and copy them, bring into the artboard. So for now, we're just going to work outside of the artboard. Usually mm -hmm. what I will do is just draw a gigantic white box and it white please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I talk to my illustrator a lot. <laughs> Don't she's we my, all? She's my best friend. Um <laughs> worst enemy. Yeah. Um so yeah. Uh let's try to assemble this. Cool. Well, let's see. Uh, okay. He's looking at the right direction. Oh, you know what? Let's lock this. Cool. Command two. Command two is lock the select item. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I only know a few shotguns, <laughs> but like, you use them all the time. Yeah, it's super helpful. Mm -hmm. And then you need to angle the hands. Sorry. <laughs> Break them apart. Yeah, brutally separate Ooh. them. <laughs> Mike says Illustrator is my jam. Yeah, it's my yeah. turn. All right, Chad. Let us know if Illustrator is your favorite product. Maybe or if it's not, it. what is? Let me pull it. And this. Okay. So now, it seems like this person is coming together. Um, it's me. Uh, direct selection too. <laughs> Never done life before. It, and excuse me if I'm really. <laughs> it's okay, you're doing no. great. It's like, where is this feature? <laughs> it's supposed to be my second nature, but now I just completely forget about it. When things are live, you know, <laughs> things just change a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Esther says Illustrator is her favorite. Michael says it's a hundred times better than Photoshop. Michael, mm -hmm. take that back. How dare you say that in the house <laughs> of Adobe? Um, <laughs> Yeah, well, now I have everybody linked, but this shoulder looks kind of strange, so I'm gonna use the really? selection tool. Popping out there. Yeah, um, maybe something like this. And select everybody, move Ooh. them a little bit, and then try to, you know, make a friendly shoulder, because it's too sharp. <laughs> a little round yeah. action. <laughs> nice. And here too. So at this point, it's just really um, intuitive. It's, yeah. However you think that it works for the composition. Um, I can say this texture will work after we add some other elements here, mm -hmm. but you know, it's for now. Yeah. I like him. This is like, oh, he reminds me of my dad. My shoulder. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Cue yeah. the tears. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I was like drawing all those cars. I think that would be nice because they can showcase the color and make it more colorful. Yeah. So let's draw some shape. And oh, no color. So I will bring in the colors. Where's my colors? Okay. Get over here. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this one for now. So what, usually what I will do is I go to the watches mm -hmm. and then create a new group. Gotcha. Let's say colors. Color group <laughs> A and delete them. Cool. And, and now they're added to your swatches. Yeah. And you can just click it and apply the colors to the group. Awesome. Um, and before you jump into anything further, it is time for the chat and win. 
You can see the beautiful fireworks behind us that lets us know it's time for something. We're back. <laughs> so as I was saying, it's time for the chat and win. Chat, this is your opportunity to possibly win. Whatever this is. <laughs> it's a notebook from Moo.com. Super beautiful paper, lined, has a nice section of just colored paper. Ooh, ah. And it has lay flat technology. Oh yeah. Whoa. She's amazed, <laughs> clearly. So chat, make sure that you are saying something uh, to us. What should we ask them? Let's ask them a question. Mm. Well, we already, we already asked what their favorite product was. Yeah. Maybe what is your favorite tool within that product? Mm. Shape Builder yeah. is a good one. Personally, like mm -hmm. that one a lot. <laughs> let us know. And if you are the lucky winner, you'll go home with a free notebook from Moo, and we'll let you know that in oh, just a moment. Jelly. I know, right? It's amazing. Uh, if you don't know what Moo is, it's an awesome way to get your business collateral printed, created, whatever you need, business cards, tote bags, all kinds of good stuff. So go check that out. I believe they just dropped some new holiday stuff too, like limited edition objects that you can do. Uh, people are saying content aware, mm. brush tool. Yep, that's a good one. Puppet warp, ooh, mm. that's a good one. Yeah. Pen tool, pen tool, gradients. Oh, the new um, freeform oh, gradient. Oh, the freeform gradient, oh my God. It's delicious. Cool, <laughs> we have our winner. The winner is Tony Coleman. Tony, congrats. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I got something on it. <laughs> so Adobe Live will be in contact with you, Tony, on your Behance messages. So make sure that you keep an eye out for that. And chat, do not be dismayed because you can still get a discount at moo.com. Go to moo.com slash Adobe Live for a discount. And make sure to look at that new holiday swag. Mm -hmm. hmm. Might be a good like holiday gift, holiday cards. Who knows? Patrick says his favorite tool is the eraser. <laughs> Honest. I feel like it's kind of philosophical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. You're not. Mm -hmm. You don't hold on to mm -hmm. things, Patrick. You can get rid of them easily. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> oh, Tony literally just signed up for Adobe Live today. That's amazing. And you won. It was worth it, right? I hope so. Cool. So, as you were saying, with your swatches, mm -hmm. uh, you just selected the shape and then clicked a color. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. That's. Uh, how I usually do things. Mm -hmm. So, um, because it's really easy, you can even color the lines with this tool. You don't have to, oh, for example, mm -hmm. there, you go. Line. there we go. Um, yeah, I, I just like to do that, and also it just helped me to manage the colors um, so I don't exceed, I don't create new colors or like yeah. forgot to use some colors. Mm -hmm. I always have uh, best in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Uh, what I'm going to do is to actually bring the lines to the top layer, so I will always be on the top. As you can see, for illustration, maybe I should do illustration. illustrations too. Maybe, so uh, you actually use layers in Illustrator? I know. I know. No, it's that's good. It's a good thing. Really? Should I feel shame about it? No, I should feel ashamed for never using them ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, send to back. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was really spoiled by Illustrator, mm -hmm. but later I feel like it's just really easy to manage the um, uh, the layers because this illustration involves a lot of layer, mm -hmm. and I can't really just just stack everything and then you know reorder yeah. them. So this is like a good way to just make sure all the shapes I create is always below all the lines, so I don't have to do constantly do uh, switch to background, foreground, this yeah. kind of. Yeah. We'll save some time. And you know in this system that the shapes are always behind yeah. the lines. So that works. Yeah. You can build it like that. Um, and duplicate. So hold. What key did I hold? Option. Option. Oh, yeah. Option. That's the key. Boom. And then, yeah. Apply colors. Ooh, no. Not outline. Colors. <laughs> That's the worst. I get so offended. I'm like, how dare you add a stroke color? I wanted a fill color. Yeah, maybe another one. Uh, based on the sketch, there is like mm -hmm. a bigger box in the background. And now we can you know, 
apply some colors here and there. Cool, you're kind of just and, playing. Yeah, and I want this to be on the foreground. So make it, oh, what I did was, okay, what did I do? I think there's a shortcut. Oh, Command, Shift, and Bracket. So you can bring it to mm -hmm. the very back or the very forefront. Yeah, yeah. So just Command, Bracket is like one step either way, and then Command, Shift is all the way to the back or all the way to the front. is also dark line too. Nice. So now we can see this composition is uh, kind of imbalanced. <laughs> so yeah, we, we can starting to tweak a little bit and see, you know, if something a little smaller, move this, or I don't know. Well, let's see. And also, so there is, there here comes my favorite forever tool. <laughs> sorry, I'm die, pointing baby. at you, sorry. Um, <laughs> you. You, listen, this is the best tool ever. <laughs> you have face. to. <laughs> I, I just love this tool ever since I, I um, yeah, I discovered this tool. I was like, you know what? Whoever did this, good karma. Good karma, you. Seriously. I think I know what you're going to do, but the, let's yeah. see. The recolor artwork. Oh, I didn't know that. Was you didn't know that? <gasps> what? Okay, everybody listen. It. It's, a, it's a great tool. It is. You're like, let me pull up my sleeves. Here we go. Dive in. This is this is the best. Mm hmm It's I can't I Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> cannot even. <laughs> yeah. So this is like allow you to switch colors. So you select all the items that you want to switch colors and mm -hmm. you just hit this button and it switch color for you. And it's not only this, you can select this color group and then while re it will reassign oh. colors to swap <laughs> and they can even, okay. So it I didn't select even. the lines, but it can even uh, alter the colors for the lines mm -hmm. as well. So you don't have to, um, you know, like select lines and like switch mm -hmm. the, the box and do any of these. And like recolor artwork is the best, period. <laughs> End of story. Done with stream. Cut it off. We're done. We're done. <laughs> sorry. <Yeah. laughs> no, sorry. No, it's, it's not true. Um, um, so yeah, and uh, once you've uh, uh, actually, this is not my favorite color combination. But once you're done, you can click OK, and then here you go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, come back to this. I feel like this green is too close to that blue. Maybe we'll bring some other colors here. Just do a minor change so we don't have to. Pink, or maybe you can have the yellow here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both. This is fun. There you go. Yeah. And uh, what do you think? Maybe, I feel like they're too sharp. Oh, maybe make everybody around the corner. Needs to be more friendly. Yeah, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. I can be more rational here. <laughs> <laughs> what is your enter favorite? The Connors. So on the toolbar, you can mm -hmm. actually enter the numbers if you're OCD about numbers. <laughs> Are you? Um, not really. No? Not really. Just for show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, see, they're kind of friendly. And what else? We Yeah, we, I have all those T's and we see. Yeah. We can draw or we can use some fonts, you know. From that would Adobe make sense. <laughs> yeah. So it's a good tea. Look mm -hmm. at that tea. Yeah, not bad. What is the what is the different font face? So as a professional graphic designer, in order to look fancy, I should avoid using that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a great font. Uh, but yeah, I, I think what I'm looking for is more bold mm -hmm. and have um, you know like be more dramatic. Yeah, this a little one, slabbier. Yeah, uh, this one is cool and. Maybe this one. Oh, that's nice. Something like that. Well, let me move my artboard. So, the give me some tea options. Spill the tea, sis. So yeah, this is graphic designer's life. Looking at this guy, like this dialogue for mm -hmm. hours. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is a super beautiful thing about Adobe Fonts is you have so many at your fingertips just within the apps, or at least that might be mm -hmm. coming in the future, and you can see a live preview as well. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. You're like, mm, mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Chat, what do you think? What kind of font should we go for? That's cool. Typewritery. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's make these tea whites. And then, boom, boom. Put them in here and see if it works. Mmm. Okay. This is fun, but maybe too many elements. There. Yeah. Yeah, well, okay, we'll, we'll deal with her. <laughs> the story of a graphic designer. Yeah. I'll fix it later. Mm. <laughs> and yeah, since we like it, create a uh, right, couple left, right, right. I can't tell left from right. Uh, left, I'm to right. your left. Right. Yeah, right click. <laughs> make an outline. Um, so you make an outline to turn the typeface into a shape. It's no longer editable, but it is now an editable shape. Yeah, so you can make it centered and, and let's see. The, I like the big T here. Um, maybe this one. Ooh. Slightly small and this space. Look at that. Maybe kind of make them, you know, kind of aligned. Yep. Is it possible to hide this bottom now? Ooh, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix that tiny detail later. But I found it's interesting is that if you can find alignment or mm -hmm. just snipe the shape with another shape, mm -hmm. sometimes you create a very interesting um, layer effect or some kind of a nice connection between those elements. They're not segregated anymore. Yep. They're kind of interact with each other. For example, just by extending the arm a little bit and to match yeah. that T. And you kind of, you know, like they starting to interact. Yeah. Um, Tells a story. Yeah. And maybe this tea can stand on his shoulder. Ooh, a little um, parrot tea. Yeah. I like it. Oh, Voodoo Val, thank you so much for the reminder. 18 minutes until the final challenge deadline of the day. Oh. So if you've been working on your illustration based off of Leonard's work all day, make sure you have it submitted by 2.30 or else at least you have a cool illustration, but we won't be able to consider it for the challenge, unfortunately. So you have 17 minutes, 22 seconds to get that submitted. Do your thing. And then we will be reviewing them in about 17 minutes. And I'm gonna see how many we have, because I'm gonna challenge you. Let's see, we have one. Chat, we only have one. I wanna see at least, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say 10. We need, a, we need 10 to review. Do it or else <laughs> whoa this tea is so cool that is cool what the what heck that? what is that mm. do you really can tell this is a tea book? no no nah. mm. it's more yeah, just a shape to, yeah it's, to lose the... it's pretty cool though yeah mm. Mm. so you're just literally just try arrowing yeah down, arrowing. <laughs> down like which one um well, I should have chat with uh, Adobe Font team and ask what do they recommend. But <laughs> I mean, we're already here. Ari, to... where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, let's see. Like this, this is a good layout. But then I realize, you know, some we we lose the contrast because like now that tea and that blue, tea yeah. is not really working. Mm -hmm. There's always, uh, you know, it's never too late. Just boop. To Increase the contrast. Yeah, it's not oh, used right. anywhere else. Yeah, and oh, this one. It, yeah, also the yellow and this kind of peach color is not really. So I'm gonna make it lighter, a little bit darker. No, nice. No, oh my god. <laughs> Even worse. Oh no. Okay, make it lighter. Um, Ryan is wondering, was there once upon a time a non-destructive shape builder tool in AI, like how it is in XD? I don't believe mm. so. I mean, you can do the same thing that shape builder and Pathfinder does without actually combining stuff just by coloring things a certain way and like putting shapes on top of each other a certain way, but it's kind of messy. But that would be nice, Ryan. It'd be nice if it was non-destructive. I wish every tool was non-destructive. It's getting there, <laughs> almost. Adobe Sensei will get it someday. Yeah. Okay, so I think this is option number three. Cool. Um, 
Done. Welcome back to everybody. Mm -hmm. Ex excuse me, I drink too much coffee. Um, <laughs> welcome back to everybody later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's move on to option oh, one, I think. Yes. And that's the second one that we get a lot of vote. Yeah. Um, so, similar thing. We have, uh, let me zoom in so everybody can see. We have some T shape mm -hmm. in the box and and some T shapes in also the box yep. and the hands are coming from all over the place. Grabby hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So um put this guy aside. Get over there. <laughs> we don't need Strike you again. anymore. Nope. <laughs> um so yeah, we can reuse some of the elements that we already created. Um here. Right, because mm -hmm. I mean it's the same same stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was actually just thinking that maybe if you are a new designer or illustrator, creator of any kind, it might be a cool idea to create your own library of shapes and assets that you use in different uh, ways and organize them differently, just how Emma is doing here. That's a great way to just make some work that feels like your own because it's all similar mm -hmm. um, and just see how things work together. I'm interested. I might want to create my own library someday soon. Yeah. Um, I definitely feel like it's really helpful to keep everything look consistent, mm -hmm. yeah. especially color and um, and shapes and typeface. Yeah. Yep. Um, because we deal with brand branding all the time, we can um, Adobe Clean. I, I was just going to say Adobe Clean. <laughs> it's hard to um, get. <laughs> yeah, uh, but um, yeah, I think it's it's nice to have that, so you can at least for for a project, it's it's it can really help you to not get distracted by other fun things that happen, like because. You know, oftentimes you're like, oh, this is so cool, like mm -hmm. in the middle of the project. Yeah. And completely forgot, oh, actually that's not part of the system. That's not my I brand. Got, yeah, yeah, I get distracted all the time. Oopsies. It's just because you really love design so much. Uh, Santiago, does this design include textures? It will. Yeah. So the, the first step is create all those uh, compositions and, you know, different color uh, combinations and see which one works the best and mm -hmm. then from there we'll create textures uh, based on those colors we're gonna use cows brushes um, but before that we have to finish this step mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I get a little <laughs> trigger happy with the textures as well so Santiago I don't blame you for being excited about it I love me some textures but you gotta wait you gotta do the work first and then have fun Although this is pretty fun, not gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so turning the hands, make sure it looks logical and seems like that's the. Mm -hmm. so I constantly move left and right. It's alright, this is the life of a uh, graphic designer, just kind of scrolling around. Yeah. Space bar is your friend. And extend this arm, use the pen tool. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> yeah, something like this. And get rounded. Wow. Okay, this is too much. <laughs> That's <I'm> very round. <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah, another hand this way. Maybe this arm. Shorter. No problem, Santiago. Appreciate you being here. Ricardo says, I love the colors. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I did a little bit of homework before I came here. I was like, you know, like, it's more the colors. Um, I'm really inspired by a lot of the uh, artists and their colors. I usually try to extract colors from artworks. Mm -hmm. Just pick, use um, picker to just pick the tool, uh, the colors, yeah. and then um, and see you know how they works from there. Um, so yeah, this is something I 
I get it from a, a painting. Yesterday. Cool. So do you have favorite places to find inspiration? Like scrolling through Instagram, Pinterest, Behance? Mm -hmm. hmm. That that is a good question. Um I I actually I don't know. Pinterest oh. sometime. Yep. Um I know it sounds kinda weird. I do flip through graphic design history. That's not weird find at all. Interesting posters and then yeah. you know look up like you had the, the propaganda designer's one. work and then try to borrow some colors from there. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. Nice. Constructivism. You're inspired by that. With yeah. Your whole process, I guess, constructing things. In yeah, a system. well that's true because if you see my portfolio on Behance, like most of my artworks are actually inspired by constructivism. Mm -hmm. um, my hometown is really close to Russia. Actually, it was part of Russia really? till 1921. Yeah. Whoa. So my hometown is called Harbin. It's in northern China. Mm -hmm. And it was part of Russia. So uh, I was really go. inspired by their architecture and their arts because we have a lot of them. Yeah, in the I was going to say. Mm -hmm. um, the whole city looks really Russian um, besides where all Asian. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's 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 really funny. Like the whole town looks so Russian. It yeah. feels like why the all the Chinese are here? <laughs> but that's all the Russian now. people. <laughs> um, that's yeah. funny. So when did you move to the states? Um, in 2011, when I was 24, I came. I decided I came here. And, really? Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I came here late. Man. Did you go to school here or back in China? Um, so I finished my undergrad in China, mm -hmm. and then I came here. I went to Indiana University. Nice. Took, yes. You went Hoosier? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny, like, I went to the school that the brand color is red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm working for, this is my the first other. job, mm -hmm. and the brand color is red. So, I don't know. It's a good a color. Of, yeah, it's a great color. I was like, <laughs> oh, I have a lot of red. It's a power and color. I, in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. So did you enjoy studying in Indiana versus in China? Yeah, well, it's so different. Um, I am not very good at doing research, and at the time, um, I was I was like, oh, United States, I guess everybody's the same. I mean, there are so many states, and I feel like, well, it looks the same to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> and they're very generous. They have, um, they have a program that help uh, international students yeah. to um, to work there and get fee remissions. So I didn't um, pay, have to pay that much. Mm -hmm. um, cool. they're, yeah, they're very supportive in terms of their art program. That's why I chose Indiana University. Um, I was there for three years. Then, yeah, and then after I graduate, before I before I tried to find a job, I was like. You know, I'm a big fan of Ella Lupton. I really want to be her student. Can I just be her student? Can I just be her student? So, and then <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess I can try to be her student. Mm -hmm. So I apply uh, for Micah, it's oh. Maryland Institute College of Arts. Yeah, That's Micah's Ella awesome. She's the the queen of graphic design. Just the queen. Yeah, she's the queen. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I went to Micah. Um, at that time, I was like really clear about what I want to do mm -hmm. as a graphic designer. I was focused on branding a lot and motion graphics. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I got an internship here. Hey, intern! Yay. That was me too! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, after that, I just decided to come back and continue working on my brand. Very cool. You yeah. got a cool story. Cross continental, cross America. Intern to full time. A lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Um, it's it's really interesting because I never thought that I would ended up at Adobe. Because yeah, I think when I was a teenager, all I was dreaming about is uh, what was that? Like have stable income and then married a random Chinese guy. <laughs> yeah. <Those are> goals. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> yeah. You never know. Then Adobe so. happens. <laughs> yeah, then Adobe happens with okay, new husband. This is even better. It's better than a husband. Um, oh, wow. Well. No. <clears throat> no, no, it's not. It's different. But. <laughs> True. Yeah. Anyways. So, oh, 
Composition number eight. That's the one that got a lot of votes too. So yeah. we're gonna start from there. And same person. Nice. So you're done with Oh three. yeah, sorry. Um Cool. So this is number three. Mm -hmm. I know the composition is totally um, not there yet, but it's you know something there. Yeah, uh, what yeah. we'll do is finish all the composition, and then I will try them on the banner yeah. and and also on the color banner. Of course, not on gray. We'll yeah. pick the dark colors and see how it looks like on a darker background or a, br a brighter background mm -hmm. and see which one works. Um, I just have to like roughly assemble them uh, so we can you know, uh, have enough things to see later. <laughs> nice, I like that yeah. approach. You kind of, you're building it and you're constructing it well, but you're leaving room for tweaking and finishing. Yeah, there's always, um, of something, you know, you need to tweak a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing about me is that be even before I ship the uh, the illustrations, even if my boss said yes, I would <laughs> sneak in there. Like, uh, maybe just a little bit there, just <laughs> one pixel lower. <laughs> Boop. Yeah, and, and maybe it's just me. And then well, they notice and they call you out. <gasps> oh no, no probably no. not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will let her know. And usually I won't change like dramatically. Mm -hmm. It's just tiny things, you yeah. know, like check the alignment and really zoom in. Mm -hmm. So like zoom all the way in and like, in. like see like percent. this is what mm -hmm. I was talking about. We need to check. Look at that. How <laughs> could you? <laughs> How could you make that mistake? Yeah. Oh, man. And chat, I want to remind you that there are three minutes left to get your challenge submissions in. It's been a light day for submissions, I will admit, but there are three. So we need seven more. Yep, seven plus three is ten. <laughs> Art school. But yeah, so we have three submissions. We need seven more in the next two and a half minutes. So I'm sure a lot of you have been working maybe all day on and off and you haven't submitted yet. You only got about two and a half minutes, so you might want to start getting exported and uploaded uh, on the WooBox gallery right now. So if you want more info on how to upload quickly, go over here to the challenge tab, learn mm -hmm. more about that, and you'll be in the running for a free year of Creative Cloud, and you'll also have your work reviewed, critiqued, fawned over live by Emma and myself. Yes, don't panic, but get your work <laughs> uploaded right now. <laughs> Is there a redo in Adobe Sketch? Yeah, Jeremy, if you just um, two finger swipe to the right, you should be able to redo whatever you just erased, but I don't know how far forward it goes. Mm. It might not be that much, so I wouldn't bank on going back a million steps and then coming back. Yeah, no. Perfect, so we have these shapes. Cool. And put it here, ooh, wait <laughs> Oopsies. a second, why? Wrong right on his there. face. What's going on here? Okay, cool. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, this is not the friend. Aurelia, and... upload. Hurry. I'll give you a little bit of leeway. The timer is going to hit zero and get it in as soon as you can. Okay? Okay. No worries, Kimberly. You are not um, required to participate in the challenge, but maybe tomorrow if you can. Shoulder. Maybe. Hmm. No. You never this know. This is not a. Ooh. Oh, this. Yeah, this seems better. It's a very elegant figure. Mm. That long neck. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge submission. <laughs> Challenge submitted. Nice job, Jan Eric. Looking forward to seeing it. Hmm. Let me borrow this team. I don't see it, Jan Eric. I think you're lying. Got my eye on you. Mm. It's going mm -mm. Matt says, great job. Oh, to me? Yes, to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> People have been encouraging you the oh, whole time. You thank just you haven't so seen much, it. Folks, yes. You guys are so nice. Yay. Mm. Adobe Live people are the best people. I have that yeah. tattooed <laughs> on my arm. <laughs> 
Uh, will Thursday also be a challenge or is it portfolio review? It is portfolio review. Good call, Kimberly. So today and tomorrow, we will challenge you to create projects alongside the designers. And then on Thursday, we're challenging you to submit your Behance portfolios for a full portfolio review. Uh, we'll pick usually two portfolios per segment. And we like to see portfolios that are, you know, uh, based on illustration or some sort of uh, illustration realm. So if you are a fine art photographer, maybe not the week to submit your portfolio, but there will be a photography week in the future. You know what I mean? <laughs> Vlad says it's 12.30 a.m. best time for illustration practice. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Thanks for being here, Vlad. I hope you get some good sleep after this. This is the last stream of the day, so hopefully you'll be able to go to bed after this. Cool. Oh, you know what? I lost the arm. What did I do? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just dragging the arm around. Whoops. And... Oopsie. Okay. It's back. It's right there. Okay. So, I guess we'll try number two, because I remember that I want to say number two was fun. Yeah, you start working on that, and I will make sure all of these submissions are submitted because we have hit our deadline. We didn't get 10, we got five. That's a failing grade. That's an F. <laughs> That's a 50%. But still, we will look at these five. I'm proud of you all for submitting. If you are uploading, get it uploaded right now. It's your last chance of the day, and I would hate for anyone's hard work to be um, thrown out because it didn't hit the deadline. Okay, it's trying to cut all the lines. Ooh. It's trying to create this, you know, arm oh, around. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, let's just see how it works. <laughs> got some really funny <laughs> illustrations I'm excited yeah. to show you in a couple minutes yes Vlad says sleep doesn't bring as much joy as design and illustration <laughs> you're a better artist than me Vlad <laughs> I love sleep <laughs> Renee yes we have your illustration and it is the best mm -hmm. excited to show it True. Oh my gosh, Aurelia, I got two submissions and two glasses of red wine. Can't remember such a fun Tuesday. Yes, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Glad you're having a good time. Ashi says, why are you so good, Emma? It's not fair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she thrives so off nice. of encouragement. Oh, so emotional. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Agreed. No, I'm not. It's just, I'll keep just keep on working. Mm -hmm. Eventually you will get there. Eventually you will create something good. Yeah. That's what we do actually, is keep creating a lot of things and then there will be one that's, you know. Yep. That's what iteration is for. It's helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only allowing me to use six layers max and gives me a layer limit pop up. Are you using sketch or draw? I believe there is a layer limit. And maybe the one in draw is smaller than sketch I forget but feel free to merge some layers if you don't actually need them all separate sorry about that though that's a little bit frustrating rounded corner. maybe this is my second favorite tool the rounded corner <laughs> yeah, yeah I remember when that widget became a thing that little yeah. circle that you drag oh my gosh so good change the game mm. okay Nice. Owen says, great job. Love your work. Thank you. Thanks for being here, Owen. It's awesome. I should come here more often. Just to... <laughs> Get some encouragement. Yeah, yeah. I really need that. I have a lot of self-doubt. <laughs> come here anytime. <laughs> Join us. Yeah, the chat is amazing. All of you people that tune in to Adobe Live, you make it what it is. Without you, it's... It's just two people sitting at a desk mm -hmm. <laughs> talking to each other. Yeah. But with you, it's magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like 
that and I feel that maybe we need a smaller element here. I don't know. Hmm. I'm digging this one. I think it might be my favorite yeah. composition so far. Yeah. yeah. The fun thing about this is that, you know, it may work on the sketch, but when you actually mm -hmm. use that and see them in colors and in lines, and it turns out different. Yeah. Um, and it's so interesting because I actually use this composition for um, Adobe Type Kit mm -hmm. before. Um, same website, but it's yeah. kind of a different name. Different name. Um, but yeah, it's still like the guy was hugging. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe like, that. Maybe it looks kind of similar or familiar because I've seen that yeah. possibly. Yeah, it's, it works though. It's in. What happened? I was really supposed to change together. What's going on? <laughs> Using direct select. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Oh, here, yeah, cool. Yeah, something like this. And Cool, they look like a bunch oh. of packages, like holiday <laughs> packages. Yeah, it's like the font packages, right? <laughs> um, you have all these. Feels like holiday shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have so many packages. Cyber Monday. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Voodoo Val says, just to clear up any of your self-doubt, Emma, this is literally one of the most interesting project process streams I've ever watched, and I've watched a lot of Adobe Live. Really? Yeah. Oh, Val's thank here you so every much, day. Voodoo Val, yeah. you're so nice. Thanks, thank you, Val. everybody. It's <laughs> trying to make it more fun because I know this is, you know, it's it's not that exciting, but um, But trying. it is. In execution, it is. It's pretty cool. Mm. So I have a nice little um, gallery of work that maybe we should take a peek at before it gets too late. Uh, we have six illustrations. Are you ready to mm -hmm. look? All right, let's pop over to my screen. This was the challenge for today, was to make an illustration okay. based off of Leonard Pang's work. He streamed first with Christine, so feel free to go watch the replay uh, if you're interested. But this is by Hanadi. And it has a message at the bottom, which is super awesome. Diversity is the key to growth. Aww. Love That's that. really cute. Mm -hmm. And the challenge was to use a, one of the Adobe like design apps. So it would be like Photoshop or uh, potentially Sketch or Illustrator Draw. So that's why there's some good texture in here. Um, what do you think about the composition? Um, I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I like the if you see them as an element, there are a lot of circles there. Mm -hmm. But um, I think I like the si the different sizes of the circles and like the colors. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, I really like the texture in the background. I wonder what is what is that brush? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hanadi, really what fun. did you use? <laughs> totally. I love that you're really repeating the circular shape, but you have shapes standing out on their own. Mm -hmm. Like this stands out because it's moved away, this stands out because it's the only one that that's that size. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice job, Hanadi. Anything that you see that could make it possibly stronger for the next version? Mm, I would say maybe try um, try different colors, like maybe try lighter colors. Uh, uh -huh. Everything's there, pretty so mid-tone. Yeah, like, like, there are a lot of mid-tones in the balloons, and they're very nice and vibrant, but also mm -hmm. at the same time, because they are all mid-tone, so they look not, uh, there are not a lot of depth in yep. there. Mm -hmm. So try different colors and kind of use um, colors to to bring in more yeah. three-dimensional. Yeah, push back, because kind of there's definitely a shadow, but it's um, there's different ways of designating depth. depth. So like mm -hmm. you were saying, the value, does something have more black mm -hmm. in it or more white in it to mm -hmm. bring it forward, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Nice job. Let me refresh one more time, just in case. Oh, yes, we have an extra one. Is I that a knew it. <laughs> All right, this is by Ryan Nelson. Let's click on it, make it bigger. Oh, this is really, wow, look at all the details. This is so cool. Yeah, Go good job. Mm -hmm. Little cat soldier inside of a tea kettle tank. Fun. There's even some texture in the actual shadow, which is pretty Whoa, cool. Look at that. It looks like maybe you made this shape all black, mm -hmm. added some texture, and then skewed it to like oh. be in perspective. Probably. That's pretty cool. If 
if you made it in Illustrator, maybe you can just combine all the shapes. Yeah. So you can get rid of the, those lines. I'm not sure if that's intentional. <laughs> so. It's kind of cool though. Yeah. Um, so what do you think about the amount of detail? Does it distract you? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I really like the details on the little cat soldier mm -hmm. and also the details on this, uh, what, what is the tank? The tank? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think in order to make, to kind of uh, bring the focal point to those details, I think background can be mm. slightly simpler. That's true. Right. Um, I like the patterns on the background, but it's just a lot of elements happens on the back so if you can use a flat color mm -hmm. or trying to tone down the patterns a little bit further yeah. to really give the the viewer you know like the mind space to actually enjoy the details in the center yeah. and really in on the character i think that will help yeah i agree and mm. i love like you said i really love this little figure and it's tough because these lines of the tank are super thick and then when you get to this little figure the lines mm. are very thin almost mm. like you drew them at the same size and then shrunk the cat down so the lines got a lot smaller and um, that can be difficult to know like what should the eye be looking at where are the actual details is it the thick line or is it the small tiny detailed cat so mm. um, maybe keeping in mind line weight and keeping in mind line weight and knowing how that communicates with the eye. Mm. But as always, um, Ryan always makes really cool work. And this is a very Ryan piece. <laughs> Color palette is job, Ryan. cool too, yeah. Nicely done. This is by Andre. Whoa, yeah. look at that. So Andre, did you do the actual line art with ink? Because I know he's um, like a graphic novelist or comic artist that uses traditional ink. Oh, poor dog. I know, he looks so <laughs> scared. Like, oh. I love cats, but this seems kind of beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I think I like the the angle yeah. of the story, and I think, yeah, this is really interesting, and also the texture is very nice. Mm -hmm. um, well, and I, I feel like, you know, same like what I was talking about the background if it can be slightly darker mm. so it will stretch the dimension yeah. and really push the background mm -hmm. to the background yes <laughs> if that makes sense so it will create more dramatic scene mm -hmm. um, and I like the colors actually represent a kind of like uh, you know like emotions yeah they're like mm -hmm puppies are panicking yeah and they're <laughs> blue and they're kind of darker yeah and I feel like maybe below uh, uh, in the cloud like below that would be nice to have some environment colors like to have slightly tinted blue mm -hmm. on the cloud to oh, just nice. have more associations between um so because because the blue is only on the dog and yeah. you don't really know wh where this color coming from yeah um, yeah, there's yeah. quite a few little areas of just spot colors that aren't in other areas, which kind of reminds me of maybe like a screen print, because I know you have like limited colors that are just layered on top of each other. Um, but I agree, it'd be nice if it kind of meshed, like even some blue highlights or like yeah. some of this green and these highlights. I love the texture right here. My the eye just keeps so going cool. right here. Like it shows that this fist is kind of battle worn and scratched, maybe has some mud on it. Nicely done as always, Andre. Very cool. All right, I believe this is Jan Eriks. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> Adobe Live, I'm cat. <laughs> so I think this is a self-portrait of Jan Eric. Jan Eric is a cat. I don't know if you know. <laughs> mm, so cute. So what do we think about this composition? I really like, I actually, I really like this style because, mm -hmm. you know, like the, the background colors like bleed out yep. and um, off register. Yeah, it's. Um, I think it's real interesting. Mm -hmm. The layout. Well, what I would say is maybe the talk bubble a little bit lower because you oh, know it's mm -hmm. breaching to the uh, very top yep. and that kind of. Um, yeah, I feel like because my eyes keep going there because mm -hmm. that's something you mm -hmm. feel always feel like a tension there. Yeah. Well, if you can bring it down a little bit. Yeah. that will actually release the tension on the top and 
make uh, you know like the eyes can flow because yeah. you know you see the edges from on the left and right yeah and there is like there's a little bit of room mm -hmm. there but the top yeah. bubble they kind of bleed out of the screen right and white. yeah and Eric I know this was kind of like a joke submission because I've seen your like serious work and it's super duper crisp and tight and awesome but I could imagine like an entire Instagram feed of like little one frame like comics yeah. of like this cat's adventure and this similar kind of childish coloring in style like as if the cat actually made it that's super cool nice idea he says thank you Kathleen and Emma <laughs> you're welcome all right this is by Aurelia <laughs> love these little critters Whoa. who is this long cat <laughs> what is his name oh, what? <laughs> It reminds me of Dachshund. I know it's it's a dog, but yeah, yeah, a cat it's dog. A, it's a cat dog. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I love the um, depth in this. Like you can tell that this little guy is laying on the beach further back. He's mm -hmm. a little smaller. This fills up the space nicely. Yeah, I really like the brush, mm -hmm. and um, I think it's it's just really fun to see like the story one, and also. The uh, interaction between the two figures, like the the tail and yep. like the person. Another person, sorry. Is that? A He's rabbit? a person okay. too. Yeah, a rabbit. <laughs> a rabbit. Uh, a rabbit person. Uh, you know, kind of match the, the mm -hmm. overall shape yes. of the tail. That's yeah, it really shows smart. some design, like some uh, composition and contour was yeah. put into that. Is this like it's a mm. bathing suit around its tail? <laughs> what is this? Let me know. Um, I feel like the color palette, you could have kept it super limited and like used similar colors and all of the elements and that would have made, I don't know, I, it would match the like 80s mm. vibe. Yeah, yeah that would definitely, that would be fun to see some uh, colors that repeat mm -hmm. uh, on the, you know, use, for example, the bathing suit can be the neon green yeah. instead of the other green so yeah. there are some kind of association totally i see a little bit of like the green oh yeah that being used here really and the are. purple being used here so that's nice it's a good start i want to hang out with these dudes beach beach boys beach long boys all right renee a little gremlin Whoa. this is super cute <laughs> and cool i love the texture so cute <laughs> I know, I keep going today. this. Uh. Um, I know this is kind of just a painting, like a study of a pre-existing object, but I think this blue and this orange look really nice together. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think I really like the color theme. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all those lines are, you, it seems like, you know, you just, you know, use some scratch lines, but mm -hmm. actually they really help with the dimension and the shadow. Mm -hmm. And, and I see textures there, it's really cool. Yeah, I like this. I'd like to see it pushed even further, like with this painterly style, render it even a little bit mm -hmm. further. See how far you can go. Nicely done, everyone loves Gizmo. I'm gonna give it one more refresh, just in case. Check it out, we oh. almost have 10. Oh, shoot, okay, so this one is by Dama. So cute, this is like some Hamtaro stuff. Oh, that's a cat. Oh, that's a cat. I thought, you know, I thought it was a corgi. We were both confused. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I love the line art of this. Like this fluffiness is super stylized and nice. Um, I like, I like, you know, the the watercolors in the background and all the details of the flowers and all the round lines. Yeah, that make it looks really cute. Yeah, friendly mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. sure. And I'm just wondering like, if there's right. an intention behind this line. Uh, maybe it's like the horizon line. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it is, maybe drop it down a little bit so it's not like hitting right at the tip of the ears. Just so it isn't distracting, I guess, because my eyes went right there. Yeah, or um, it could be some like lighter tone color because mm -hmm. um, I feel like the, the cat has a lot of white. Yes. And the background is white, and it makes it um, look, uh, it's really hard to different the yeah. background and the foreground. Mm -hmm. So, 
Yeah, this looks like it's based off of a real cat. Like these colorings are so specific. A little bit of orange there above the eye. Super cute. It looks like a children's book character. Yeah. It could actually exist. Nicely done. That was by Dama. Refresh one more time. Okay. So this is by Steven, and I believe this is a, he submitted a version earlier that was just a sketch, and this is so much more finished. Whoa. It looks really nice. This is, uh, is that a like meditation? A, yeah, like they're invoking mm -hmm. some sort of demon. It's a cool wolf guy. Wow, I really like the nature of these flames. Yeah. How kind of naively the, um, or like blobbly the flames are drawn, but mm -hmm. it looks realistic because of the glow and how, how it's rendered down here. Mm -hmm. I like how, you know, you use, um, theme colors. Yes. But especially for the flames. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of matching the the glow underneath the, this, yeah. um, this fox or is that a... I'm not sure. Let us know. It, yeah. Fox, wolf, wolf, dog. Wolf. I want to actually show you the first version because mm -hmm. it has come seriously a really long way. Here. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. That one, this is like really well finished mm -hmm. and it does have this kind of spiritual yeah. vibe yes it, mysterious. With this, mm -hmm. the atmospheric background and the use of just a really dark value at the bottom mm. there isn't like a delineated ground but you can tell this is sitting on the ground because it gets very dark in the perspective of the pentagram it's cool yeah. nicely done thanks for working on it again that's really really awesome cool is by Jew. Wow, the the hair is on fire. Yeah, it looks like it's on fire, which is pretty cool. Which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it's probably just like floating mm -hmm. back, but this color palette is really vibrant. It says a lot. Yeah, I think this is really nice because you know the background. Sorry, I'm just like calling out about background all the time. It's an important uh, thing. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about background, even though okay. I think the background's great. Yeah, uh, let's talk about that figure. The fi I, I really like the figure. I like the shape of the hair, and mm -hmm. it really speaks a lot. And the color, the contrast, looks really cool. Yeah, um, and also I think it's kind of fun. The shadow actually yeah. has uh, the beginning that yeah. actually cut off. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, it's a really fun detail. You know, usually you would think it's just like one shape, but it's kind of different. Yeah. And the hair, the hair is different too. Oh, that shadow. is true. It's redrawn. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder if that's, inten if that's intentional. I love this style of, I don't, I forget what it's called, like gestalt, where things turn into other things and like the negative space is mm -hmm. actually something else. That's always cool. Shows that you've put more thought into your design. I yeah. really like it. And I almost wish I noticed the figure has this kind of nice like texture and some like th a lot of thin pieces. And I wish that this life preserver felt more similar, like maybe had some like roughness around the edges. Mm -hmm. And I know a life preserver like is supposed to be very smooth and round, <laughs> but in this world, it feels like it might be a little more scratchy and maybe have some blue showing through. Something like that. This is cool. All right, I think that's it. Great job, everyone. Good job, everybody. Woohoo! It's really good. We almost got 10 submissions. I'm very proud of you. Mm -hmm. um, and then all of the submissions from today will be considered for one year of Creative Cloud, one grand prize winner. We'll go home with that. So I believe Christine and Leonard are going to um, announce it tomorrow morning. Yes, I'm getting mm -hmm. a nod. Cool. So make sure you come back tomorrow morning if you want to hear who won and then also participate in tomorrow's challenge, which is very exciting. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Aaron says very cool, everyone. <laughs> I agree. Cool. So uh, you've been working on creating compositions, different mm -hmm. compositions using yeah. the same assets mm -hmm. for the banner. And then tomorrow you're going to focus on texture. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll um dive into like creating textures and like all those brush strokes that mm -hmm. you I've shown you before. Yes. So you're gonna we're gonna create these things mm -hmm. and talk about um, you know how to apply those textures into those shapes 
And yeah, that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see all these beautiful textures, more Kyle T. Webster brush mm -hmm. goodness, and also to participate in the challenge. We'll be starting the day off with Leonard and Christine at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So you got some time to watch the replays if you'd like, and then come back tomorrow morning. And Emma, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me here. Thank of you, course. everybody, for encouragement. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Everyone have a good night. Bye. Ooh, this is cool. I've never seen that. <laughs>